Hello, good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you, and you? Excellent, I'm doing good, I'm really good. Today was a good day. Well, it started like a bad day, but it ended, well, it's ending like a good day. So, good. And, 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 and now, and down, and uh -huh, now, can't complain. Now can complain, right, exactly. <laughs> I can't complain. Oh, sure, I I didn't give you more idioms, right? Yeah, I forgot. I'm gonna give you some at the end, uh, like some idioms at the end of the class, so we can continue with that. Yeah, can complain and piece of cake. We're gonna learn more. So for yeah, example- Get a life. What? Get a life. Get a life, get a life. Get a life. Like, <laughs> like when someone is criticizing you or paying too much attention to your life, you say, get a life, right? <laughs> right. Then uh, there's another one. Uh, you can say under the weather. Yeah, so weather, you know what it is, right? Yes. Yeah, so under the weather means that you are feeling sick. So for example, someone says, how are you? And you say, ah, a little bit under the weather. So it means that you're sick, you're feeling bad. You don't describe what you have. It can be a flu, it can be a headache, it can be anything, but under the weather. Yeah, that's, that's to describe that you are sick. Then, let me see. Under the weather. Oh, it's raining cats and dogs. It's raining oh, cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. Yeah, raining that one. Cats and dogs. Yeah, what do you think it means? I don't know. It's raining mm, too much. <laughs> exactly, it's raining really hard. Yeah, it's raining really yeah. hard. That's what they say, it's raining cats and dogs. That's why they say it. So it's raining cats and dogs under the weather, can complain. Whoa. I can't think of one right now, but there, there are a lot of them. So, and I'm gonna teach you some of them right now. You understand that under the weather is feeling sick and it's raining cats and dogs. And I use that one, raining cats and dogs, because around April, well, this month, Sometimes we have rains, sometimes. Then May and June, yeah, we can have some rains. And I always tell my students, right now, guys, it's raining cats and dogs in the house because it's raining really hard. And you know this headset, this headset right now here? Um, when it's raining, you cannot hear a single thing. So it, it mutes everything. But the... If you can see this right here, it's really short. The earphone, it's really short. So you can hear me well, but I cannot hear my students. So that's a problem. It's really good, it's really good uh, with the, the noise cancellation, but with the speakers, no, no, no. I mean, the, the, with the audio, it's not really good. So that, that's, that's an issue. And, and it's funny because when it's raining really hard, nobody can listen. But if my rooster is doing the it'll do, everyone can listen. So that one doesn't work with this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Okay, so thank you for being here. I do really appreciate that we have some students today. We have seven students today, which is good. I like it. Thank you for your punctuality. We're just missing Elsie, Esli. Yes, Elsie, Elsie, right? Elsie. We're missing. Alex, Alex Haka, right? Someone is watching TV in the background, right? <laughs> it's not me. Okay, yeah, but thank you for your punctuality. I do really appreciate it that you're here in the class. And I was going to tell you guys that sometimes in these modules, we don't see too much grammar structures because what is important right now is for you to practice listening and speaking skills. That's why I send you to the breakout rooms a lot because there is it's that you have to speak, you have to listen, you have to speak, and you have to practice. So today we have a few conversations 
and we're gonna watch two videos. The first one is to the, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, vocabulary questions for success. Qualities, I mean, vocabulary qualities for success. So it's like additives. And then we're gonna go with a conversation that we have here. <clears throat> I'm gonna play the video for you and just listen. Voy a sacar. No he cerrado el de la clase de la tarde. <laughs> ya, está bueno. Hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to the following list of adjectives. They will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable. Gorgeous. Industrious. Muscular. Slender. Clever. Charming. Knowledgeable. Persuasive. Tough. Affordable. Attractive, entertaining, informative, well written. Okay, so these qualities right now, they are to describe success. Success, meaning that these things right here describe something really well done. Okay, so for example, a work that you did really good something in your job, something in your own business. You can describe those things with these qualities for success. Well, and the qualities for success, obviously, are those things that you do a lot to achieve the success. For example, for example, for this one. If you are persuasive when you go to a job interview, you might get the job, okay? because you are really persuasive and you pers and you you are really persuasive with the people and they understand that you really want the job because you're like no but I can do this no but I can do that Let, I can fix this problem like this so you're persuasive clever clever it's a really good quality because I I, I always say you can be really smart but if you're not clever because sometimes people are really smart but with the books, with the theoretical things. But when you need to go into the practice, they are not smart enough. So being smart in real life, in real situation, it's being clever, okay? Clever. So we have all these adjectives right now here. So I will need you to take a screenshot. If you don't know one of these words, you can look it up on Google, of course. Well, no, don't trust Google. I will trust Lingua and Word Reference. Those are better. Word Reference will teach you the word in context, so you can decide if it's the word that you're looking for. Have you ever used uh, Word Reference? Have you ever used Word Reference, guys? No. It's I'm gonna, if you write this thing on the end, oh, I'm gonna show you, wait a second. I wanna show you. So word reference, it's really good. Because it will teach you, let me see. Wait, okay, right here, oops, sorry. Those are my groups, <laughs> these classes de la tarde. Oops. Wait, 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 what it is? Right there. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Look, so here it says Spanish to English, but we're gonna do English to Spanish. English, English, French, French, Spanish, English, English, Italian. No, English to Spanish. Spanish. Well, we're gonna leave it like that. Oh yeah, 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 I just do this, yeah, of course. Okay, for example, I will look for one of the adjectives that we had there, that it was 
uh, let's do in not fashionable, the first one. Fashionable. Mm. Fashionable. Fashionable. Okay. If you look here, it's this one, it's really good. Because for example, right now I can share how it sounds. Fashionable. In the US. But if I want, I can use UK. Fashionable. You see? Fashionable. Accents. And then it will give you the phonetical structure in the UK and in the United States. And it will give you uh, here, for example, trendy. It means trendy, the moda, novedoso. So now, right now, if you go here, it will give you examples. Become fashionable, ponerse de moda. Then sometimes it will give you uh, places or texts where people use this one. This Después de la reina usar un vestido color malva, ese color se puso de moda en todo el país. So this is an example. After the queen, the color became more fashionable through the country. Aquí pueden ver, ah, no, es esa palabra no es la que estoy buscando. That's not the word that I'm looking for, because in context, it means another thing, right? But in this one, yes, that's what the meaning that I'm looking for. So what is fashionable? A person or something that becomes popular, right? That's fashionable. Then I can look for another one. Gorgeous. Well, we know that one. Let's go to let's go with industrious. Industrious. I think that's one. Industrious. Industrious. So this one, it's better, right? means someone that works a lot, industrious, a person who likes to work. Then we have an example right here. The industrious students often study all night. You see? Laboriosos. We can say laboriosos instead of industrioso. El estudiante laborioso estudia estudiar toda la noche. Right? So this is an example that where they use it. Or in synonyms, it also give you, gives you the synonyms. Look, hardworking, a hardworking person. Okay? Okay, teacher. Do you think it's interesting, the website? Yes. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna send you the link. And right now, with the words that we have here, you can go to the link and look for the words you don't understand, right? It's gonna be good right there. Okay, so did you take a screenshot of the words? Yeah? Okay, you can go, you can practice pronunciation there as well. You can practice with your cl uh, classmate, classmates, look for the meanings. And also the, best important, the, the most important thing is pick one quality that you think describes you. If you have a quality for success, if you think you have one, because if you consider you don't have any of those qualities, it will be good, okay? It doesn't matter but I need you to practice. Is the activity clear for you guys? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Teacher. Yeah. One question. Mm -hmm. Is the to sex for personal? Oh, oh doesn't matter. Success. Yes, sex, a, a my or the other person or... A quality, a quality you think you have. My quality. Okay, yeah, quality, your okay. quality. Okay. Okay. And also Thanks. by the end, when you know all the meanings, you can also say what you think is the most important quality for success. Okay, you can say for a business. For a business, what is the most important quality, okay? Yes, you can talk about that. Let's go. Please join the breakout rooms, accept the invite.
Miguel. Voy, teacher, voy. Ok. Hello, Nancy, teacher. welcome to the class. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. It, it's okay. Maybe you were busy. Okay. Yes. I have to do something in my home. Okay. After work. Yeah, I understand. The yes. only time you have, right? To work in yes. your house. Okay. Um, but Thank right now you. your classmates are working on, on the breaker room. So I will send you to one okay okay thank okay. you okay perfect welcome to the class thank you
Okay. For my job, I think my quality, maybe I have to, to be clever, but um, because I, I work with nouns, with con a content, okay? Um, uh, another uh, quality, maybe knowledgeable, knowledgeable. Uh, I have to study. Knowledgeable. No, no, okay. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Uh, no, no, like la, knowledgeable. 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 Okay. Did you did you look for the word reference or not? Mm, no, no, in this moment, no. Okay, 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 it's great. Right. Okay, because the pronunciation is knowledgeable, okay? Knowledgeable, yes, knowledgeable. you can continue, Maria. So, Marielos, okay. I mean Marielos, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, um, I need to um, search for knowledge. Um, Center. If you feel your arteries are muscular and elastic. The the link. This is the link that you put in the chat. Yes. Um. For example, a slender. The sentence is this is no, but it's not. This is connected to I love a slender it's move. Or mm. I can find uh, it. <laughs> okay. Beautiful score with a slender and delicious. Mm. Oh. Sentence, no. uh, we can continue and, using this. Uh,
طقت طقت ايه طقت It's hard to break. The stick was too taut. Yes, it's tough. Like what you said. Okay. Stuck. No, tough. tough. Like with F, tough. Tough. Look there tough. in the pronunciation, in the parentheses, tough. 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 I do. This this website is very very expensive. And that is for learning English or speaking it's English. Speaking, speaking. Oh, okay. For the, for, for the level one, it's forty eight words or mm -hmm. sentences. Can you listen and then you record in your voice? Okay. And this. You run a uh, accentuation or uh, is accent? Accent? No pass, no pass the, 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 the next level. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so that's a good one, yes. And did you, uh, did you, uh, well, mm -hmm. you, you can share that link with your classmates, right? So that they can, they can practice on it. And also, did okay. you, yeah, did you did you translate all the words? Did you yeah, like the activity? Did you translate all the qualities for success or you're still working on that? I I I say this website. For example, this oh okay, okay. It's no Knowledgeable. Oh, what? What is the pronunciation? Knowledgeable. No. It's difficult. <laughs> Knowledgeable. What it says there. Uh, you have to share the sound of your computer. <laughs> Knowledgeable. No, you can share the, the 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 audio of your computer because your classmates couldn't hear that. No, we cannot listen. Can you listen, guys? No. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. no yeah. But it, it, the thing is, you have to share. No, 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 no. And then, and then this sentence is, she is a knowledgeable and valuable assistant to Dr. Taylor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have examples there also.
Perfect. Did you translate all the words? Do you know the meaning of all of them now? Yeah. So so. Yes. Yeah, so, Some so. of them. Okay. Now, but we have to continue with the class because I have to show you another video. Oh, and um, Sirhan, can you share the link of the uh, website that you told me? Other classmates have it too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because Sirhan knows about other websites that will help you learn English. So that's one. And there's another one also for um, pronunciation uh, practice, right? Uh, for, 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 for pronunciation practice. Uh -huh. Practice is this. The first is uh, the just have to set sample and sentence. And this uh -huh. is pron only pronunciation. Only pronunciation. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Sirhan. Yes. That's good because there are so many websites where we can learn English. Like right now, I think that a person who is really self-learner, self-learner is a person who learns by him or herself. That if you look, if you look on the internet and if you try to learn by yourself, you're gonna learn. So there are a lot of apps, websites, videos on YouTube where you can learn, perfectly learn. So that's that's a resource, resource. Okay, <clears throat> anyways, let's go with our conversation that we have here that you're going to practice. And I'm gonna share the video with you right now. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in place. Now, she's saying, can you think of fashionable places in your city? Places, fashionable places. Now, what is a fashionable place? You know what is fashionable right now? Yes. Like a boutique, maybe. Mm. Um, so, no, fashionable, fashionable places? Yeah, maybe, but <clears throat> a fashionable place can also be? Fashion places, galerias. Mm. Well, yeah, but fashionable place as well. Yeah, play, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the examples are correct. Fashionable place is like a popular place. Okay. Fashionable place is a popular place. So let's listen again. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. So in places, in, that's another one you can use. The in places, in is something, something that is in is something that is trendy, popular, that people like it. So not only that they are famous, but they are trendy right now. You know what is something trendy? Yeah. Okay, so if they are trending right now, they are in, something in. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Okay, well, <laughs> this conversation is really interesting. Now, the club where Ben likes to go is a place where there's music, but it's never crowded. What is crowded? Do you know what is the meaning of crowded? Uh, concurrido. Exactly. Thank you, Nancy. Yes, it's never crowded. But the new place that is called, like she said, Casablanca, <laughs> the Casablanca uh -huh. place is um, 
trendy because it's new, it's modern, and people go there, like he says, because they like to be seen. Do you know the meaning? They like to be seen. They like to be seen. Le gusta que lo vean. Solo yeah. para ser visto. Exactly, just to be. So people go there, just like, hey, yeah, I'm gonna see that person there. Nine, yeah, that person's gonna see me, and that's why they go there. That's twice so popular, okay? But if you don't like to be in those kind of places, in my case, since COVID started, I don't like to be in crowded places. I always feel, I don't know, like panic, a panic attack. When I see a lot yeah. of people, I'm like, <gasps> and I start like my anxiety starts <laughs> because it's like, mm. no, I don't like it. Have, has mm. it ever happened guys to you that you're watching a movie and they are in a crowded place and you're asking, ¿Y dónde tiene la mascarilla? ¿Por qué no la mascarilla después? oh yeah, it's a movie. <laughs> Yeah, that happens to me all the time. I'm like, I don't know. It's something on my mind. It's something that is still there on my mind. And they say that by the middle of this year, face masks are not going to be mandatory. Did you hear about that? Some people are saying that. I don't know if it is true, but they are saying that my face mask won't be mandatory. It will be optional. Who knows? Yes. Yeah, they say that. I don't know if it is true. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna practice this this conversation. I'm gonna play it one more time so you can listen for you can listen to pronunciation, and then we can practice. Yeah. Okay. It's always a long wait outside. Wait, and it's wait, never wait, wait, wait. What's your favorite club? About the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. What do you think is the meaning of I thought you'd never asked? Exactly, Eurisenda. Thank you very much. Now, something that I have here, well, I want you to pay specific attention to this one where you are. Fact. Remember when we are um, saying the verbs in the past, the pronunciation needs to be packed for the both lessons. Packed, packed. Don't say packet because that's incorrect. Yeah. It's packed, packed. Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to practice this conversation. And then okay. when we come back, I'm going to ask some groups to say it here in front of everybody. Okay. Okay. Do you have the screenshot? One group is going to be three people, so just one group. The other ones are going to be two groups. I be in the group alone. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't want you to be in the group alone. <laughs> Why? No, I, I just kidding. Just kidding. I was like, do you want to practice with me?
the screen. Do you, uh, do you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, I I am Ayumi and you Ben. Yeah. And okay, I'm That's going all. to start. Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There is always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, I just opened it a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern. A lot of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. All right, it's at the newest in place. I heard the reason people go there in is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Okay. Hey, I'm we just shall... gonna make sorry, sorry, sorry about okay. that. I'm it's... just gonna clarify on the second intervention of Mayumi. Um at the end it says packed. Remember packed. Okay. okay. So in the word packed. club, club in English is club. Mm, pack. Uh-huh. Yeah. Club. Club, exactly. With, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Now I am Mayumi and you, Ben. Hi, my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, I just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern. A lot of fashionable people go there. It's Kelly de Casablanca. All right, it's the new West in place. I heard the racing people go there is used to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I told you never ask. Okay. Uh, you, Milton, is Mayumi. Uh, Miguel is Ben. Okay. What's your favorite club, Ben? It's all club. They have fabulous music and it's never growing. So it's easy to get in. That's funny. There is always. No, we only practice the, the conversation, but it's an, another exercise. I, I don't know. Teacher? Hello? Yes. Um, no, I... I'm sorry. What, what was the question, Mariela? Okay, we practiced the conversation about uh -huh. and the exercises. The exercise is practice, 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 um. and practice. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's pronunciation practice. That's why it's there. Pronunciation. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Thanks, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> it's just pronunciation practice. <laughs> Let's begin again. <laughs> Priscilla. Okay. Um, do you want to, to share the screen, please? Okay, wait. Ah. Mm. All right, for the Okay. Okay. Let's begin. Um, okay. What's your favorite club then? The school club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded. So it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long way outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. What do you, what do you think is so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern. Boris, I have a question for you. Uh, yeah. Where did As you learn English? Where? Uh, uh, some, some places? <laughs> Yeah, because I, 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 no, I'm asking because I think your English level is really good. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this in inglés corporativo uh, has me a lot, really. Okay. How long have I, you been I, I with inglés corporativo? Since October 2019. Wow. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Wow. Impressive. You have mm -hmm. been, you have been here a long time. Yeah. Well, I like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yes. Did you repeat some levels for this? I don't think so. Oh, October 2020. I don't remember. Well, <laughs> the October 2020 because I I begun uh, in the first level. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, well. Thank you, thank you for answering. Okay. Yeah, sure. Your classmates don't want to go to sleep. They don't want to go night night. And it's time to go night night already. Yeah. They don't want to come here. Oh my goodness. There they come. Yeah, there they come. Excellent. Guys. Like yeah. <laughs> you didn't want to come right now. You always come so fast by the last time, last breaker room. That was funny this time. Okay, we're gonna go because it's time to night night, like baby said in the United States. So it's time to night night. <laughs> okay, night night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Night night, teacher. Night night. Night night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.